Oh, girl. You did not just do that with the neckline. Why? Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another reaction video on the channel. Today I'll be watching reaction to Olivia He um, of Luna, of course, with her solo song. And this one was called, yes, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I guess the Korean title we can go off of that. So this is uh, Bomi Dria Chulge. I'm not sure what that ex actually means, but this is a remake, I think, of some older song. So there's that. And yeah, it's pretty cool to see a, a solo release by a Luna member that is, I think these days, pretty rare. Of course, we don't really have that usually. We had that supplement with Not Friends somewhat recently, but still, that's cool to see. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about, of course, Luna-wise right now. So if you want to not listen to that and just get into the video, then just skip ahead a minute or so. So I wanted to say two or three things. First and foremost, my Luna series. I know it has been on like hold for a bit and I want to continue it for sure. And there's a, a good reason why I want to continue it um, probably next week. And the reason for that is Queenum. And that is the second thing I want to talk about. I'm ecstatic that they're on there, but also very worried because... Uh, 11 out of the 12 members now have corona, right? That's very worrying because the Queenum shooting began a few days ago. So I'm not so sure if they're even gonna be on Queenum anymore, honestly. Because 11 out of 12 is a very big problem. It's not just a few members. It's literally basically the whole group. And if they're gonna miss for two weeks now at least, I don't know, man. Like, how many episodes are they missing? Two or three, right? So I'm not sure if Emnet is gonna just go stick with Luna and have only the one member I've forgetting who it was, was it Hyunjin or something, who is not um, corona positive right now, just have that one member there sitting there and just, you know, alibi being there for Luna, and they're just not going to perform in the first episodes. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, or if Emnet maybe is even going to just kick them out and get someone else. I don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm very scared, because I want them to be there. I, I think it's an amazing opportunity to grow in popularity, so I hope that happens, that they're actually still there, uh, even though it's a bit delayed with the members. But... We hope, we hope, and yeah, I also hope I can finish the, the members, because I actually have not watched Olivia Hayes' Zolo. Um, I hope I can finish those before Queenium starts, which I'm obviously gonna watch on stream. Anyway, let's begin with her song. Ooh, a ballad? So I don't know anything about her yet. I don't know if she's a singer or a dancer or a rapper. I would assume she's more a dancer than a singer. Because one thing I know is before I started reacting to Luna and before I really knew anything about Luna uh, is that I watched those dance covers they did and I think in the NCT 127 Cherry Bomb cover they did, I think, right? Olivia had the last part where they had the dance break basically, right? She was in the center there. So I would assume she's a really good answer more than a vocalist usually. I like her voice tone though. She's also very pretty, we don't have to argue about that, it's obvious. <laughs> it's kind of an exotic vibe around her. The kind of Fuasa vibe. A little bit. Sungyeon CLC. A little bit. How old is she, by the way? She's pretty young, right? She's one of the youngest in Luna, I think. Well, not like youngest, youngest, but she's like probably in the younger half of Luna, right? The, the younger five or six. What's she reading anyway? such an innocent song with the flowers in the video too, but instrumental really is what makes it like innocent. Oh, I just noticed she has flowers on her top too. Oh girl. You did not just do that with the neckline. Why? I, I have a weak spot for neckline. Neckline is one of the things where I'm weak to. You know, there are just a few things. 
but neck, yes. It's among those. Not really saying much because it's a ballad. Ballad is really tough to say things to, right? I'm just kind of really feeling what she's doing though. She's writing the melody of this song really, really well, and like it's kind of serenading what she does. It's almost like she's singing a lullaby. It's it's really cute. <laughs> Why do I feel like, as innocent as this is, her soul is gonna be the complete opposite and be very, like, girl crush and uh, sexy almost? Somehow I expect that, I don't know. I'm aware her soul is called Egoist, right? But I'm not so sure what that, it, it just sounds kinda girl crush. I, I have no idea about the soul yet. But, yeah, I'm interested now for sure. Also, she has, she has actually, she reminds me of someone really, like, a lot right now. Maybe that's because I think about that idol a lot, but... Um, she reminds me of Sujan from Idol a lot, <laughs> honestly. It's the way she, she is like very, she seems introverted and like elegant. Like as she, if she's a person that doesn't move too much, like it's not, she's not hype and everything. She's like, just for herself, introverted, elegant. I'm moving like, you know, slowly, composed, basically is a good word for that. And also at the same time, she looks kind of similar to Sujan. Uh, yeah, not too too much, but a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Her earrings are cute. I wonder what that means, actually. I'm not sure. She sang that really effortlessly. I I wouldn't be able to tell that she's not a singer usually, which I think, again, I don't think she is usually focused on, on vocals. Uh, I would assume, at least from what I've seen and heard and, and the, the bits and pieces I know from her, right? I would assume she's more a dancer. So again, uh, this seems more than people would expect from her. So that's cool to see. And also nice that she gets to showcase that, right? So it just shows that she's good as a singer. So that was nice. Uh, definitely, uh, it's a song that is super, super, super slow in tempo. Something I would probably not listen to. Uh, definitely not a playlist song. It's, it's something like uh, occasional, right? You be like, I feel like I want to listen to something in the background. This is a good background song, actually. Or something like that calms you down or just very soothing of a song, very slow and calm. Then this would be one of the songs I would you know, pivot to. But honestly speaking, I have a few others that literally do songs like these exclusively. I'm going to mention just IU and Bolt 4 here as two examples. They listen to quite a lot when I, whenever I like feel like I want to listen to a song like that. So I'm not so sure if I'm going to go back to the song, I'm going to be honest with you guys. But still, that was Olivia here with a solo song that was enjoyable to watch and just nice to see that she can do something like this. And it's going to be interesting to now for me see what her solo is going to be like, especially her title track, you know, as... If you don't know, I have a Luna series where I um, check out the, the solos and subunits in, in order, but I also go through the b-sides of the solos and subunits, so not just the title tracks, but I would assume a title track in particular is going to be quite different to this, um, at least I expect that, so that's going to be interesting. But yeah, that is my reaction to Olivia here's solo, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to figure out what the actual English title of this song is, so I can put it in my thumbnail and uh, you know actually know what I'm talking about in the description when I kind of write down my thoughts once again, which I usually do. Anyway, uh, play this to all of my Luna reactions as well as my Luna series. I'm just going to put it there as well in the pinned comment. Thanks so much and have a nice day. Peace.